better, especially if it's your first time. And you'll you'll see how you'll love it on your girlfriend. Your girlfriend will love it on you, and you'll realize that it's something that you can absolutely adapt into your lifestyle. And 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 you know, and the other thing is, is like when your roots aren't done or you don't want to do your hair, you're not going to uh, run out in that little ponytail and look <laughs> half as good as you can. You're going to run out and your hair is going to be bouncing and people are going to be like, oh my God, you look amazing. And you're going to be like, yes, don't you like my hairdo or whatever sort of cheesy little slogan I could add in there. And you know what? Not, not every time can you throw a hat on, you know, and, and to cover up the root line. And I always think I'm going to look better right. in a hat. And then now, I put it on, I'm like, I look And like then you're stuck with that awful. hat because then it's like everything, yeah. And by the yeah. way, these are so breathable. Can we just show you? Do we I'd have like a second? I'd love to see the inside. Let yeah. me, oh, that's not this. Hold Hold on a second. I'll get or I'll okay. get organized. I promise. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the beauty of 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 the hairdo wigs. Okay. They're not like your Halloween wig. They're not like grandma, grandma, grandma's wig. They are really high tech, really super smart wigs, okay? So what they are is they have this beautiful velvet patch right over here. This like feels amazing against your skin. You don't get itchy or Ooh, scratchy. Nice. You know what yeah. I mean? It kind of like makes it feel really, really luxury. And so it's a silk lace construction. So you have that sort of lace construction. That means it's not gonna look square or weird on your head. It's gonna hold this nice, beautiful shape. But at the same time, it's gonna adapt to your head shape. And here's the kicker. Mm -hmm. You're going to breathe in it. Like, you see that? You see my sweater right through mm -hmm. it? It's like, this is all air passing through. You're not going to start sweating in there. So unlike a hat, for example, which you put on and you can feel it like overheating, you're not going to overheat in this one. And then if you're thinking, you know what? Oh, my head is really, really small. Even I can't even fit in hats or helmets. I have to use kid size. Okay. Well, for you guys, you can make this even smaller. You can use these hook and loop tabs to adjust them either to the center or further to the side. Use both of them. Get creative try it out. You may not ever need it, but I want you to know it's there. And I love that in the video you showed us we don't necessarily need the stocking over our head. No, you actually, like, I'll cap. even show you. You know, I you don't, don't, even put, I don't put one on. Perfect. I just kind of, I throw my hair up there. It doesn't matter. Nobody's ever going to see, see it. That, right? I wrap it up. I throw it on there. I change it out into something else. Oh. And actually, sometimes when I want to, it's like freezing out there or something. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a little wig cap on. Why All not? Right. All right. Why not? Cool. All right. I want to show you the angled shortcut wig because this one has also been a bestseller here with us. More than 60,000 of these sold. Look at that. I love the show. This is where I always say to myself, I love to go short. I love to go short. But cold feet kicks in. Am I going to like it on me? So why not go with a wig? Because you know what? I can have short hair but have you, for a when month was the and last then back to my long hair. But let me ask you a quick yeah. question, Stacey. When was the last time you caved and you really went for it and went short? Oh my God, it's been 15 years. Okay, right. So yeah. you've just been lusting forever, <laughs> right? 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 For being and realistic. Doing and here's the same what... thing over and over saying, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Okay. And not so, look at this. So, I love the tapered back too. So neither have I. I haven't had the courage to go this short for a really long time. But let me tell you about when you do, because I have clients that have. They're back in my chair every three weeks, every four weeks, every five weeks. They are constantly at it, trying to, let me get rid of this and show oh, you, trying you to wear maintain. You short hair so well. And no, I don't. That's the thing. I promise you guys, what? listen to what I'm trying to say. My hair, if I cut it, does not look this good when it's short. If you've ever cut your hair and said, I'm not a short hair person, that is me. <laughs> what happens when you put a wig on is completely different, okay? Because I guess it's, you know it's it, not forever, it's, so you can I, just... You can just enjoy it for the moment, as instead of going, oh my gosh, what if it doesn't grow out fast enough? Like, what if I'm not going to like the fact that I can't put it back in a ponytail again? You know yeah, what? You just have the enjoy bathroom, it for the day. You have the bathroom heart attack when you cut your own hair off. You're like squeezing out three times as much of the shampoo as you need, and you're like, why did I do this? You know? So it's like, you don't, what I'm trying to say is if you're lusting over this haircut, you've seen it, you know, look at how real that looks. I mean, if you get really, 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 really close to me, it really it looks and feels real. And if you've seen this haircut in the magazines and you've seen that this perfect like model Jenner. kind of like standing there with that great little haircut and it always looks good, let me tell you something about that. A lot of times it's not their hair, it's a wig. And mm -hmm. you know, and it took so long for people when extensions first became popular. Do you guys remember this? Everyone was kind of like, are those extensions? No. And then it was like, ooh, they're extensions. Now it's like, oh yeah, here are my extensions. I walk you around know? the studio um, here at QVC with them in my hand as I'm going to the salon from like where we get ready. Like uh, to it's me, like, it's just. It's like the new, new normal. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like having socks on your feet, right? <laughs> okay, we do got to show you colors and then I want to show you again some other transformations and what this could could maybe do for you and how you could have fun. I've got to tell you this black right here. Oh, this one, the black. The uh, is that dark brown? The, no, the black's in front of me. I oh, just sorry. Want to tell you, um, I've got three of these left, I believe. Three, and then it's it. It's gone. 
for easy payments, $24.75. All right, I'll meet you over okay, here. Okay, let's, let's talk about colors one more time. And here's the other thing I want to say. If this is your first time wearing a wig and wearing a wig is new for you, don't change, don't go into a drastically different hair color, okay? Because then you're going to be, you're going to try it. You maybe won't like the color. It's so different. And then you'll think, I'm not a wig person. Let's talk about colors. Okay. You have your light golden blonde. It's the lightest blonde that you have. It's rooted all around, right? So you're going to get that 7 to 11 different shades. You're going to have that, it's growing feeling um, from every part of it, all right? And then we move along. And if you want to have something that is... Um, just a little deeper, just a little warmer. Um, we have the medium golden mm -hmm. blonde available for you right here. Oh, I like the medium red ginger. Okay, guys. So pretty. And here, here's why you have to have it in a wig. If you like red hair whatsoever, if you've ever dreamt of it or if you've had it, you know that it washes out instantaneously. Red color, when you color it from the salon, looks great for three washes. And then after that, I'm sorry, is that however they want to package it, it starts to look really brassy. Mm. Medium red with ginger. Okay. Then if you like a nice neutral color, this is our light brown. It's like a beautiful light brown, but again, I still want to show you, you're getting seven to 11 different shades. It's like when you look at children on the beach and you go, oh my God, well, how do I get their hair color? It's not brassy and it has all those highlights. That's what you get with okay. that. Then we'll come down and we're going to talk about this dark brown right over here. It's the most beautiful like sort of deep 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 dark chocolate cocoa brown very very limited okay sorry about that um, we have medium red brown which is the color that I'm wearing so it's the you know sort of it's a brown color but it has that warmth and kiss of the Sun okay um, and then we have the two medium bases with the highlights so we have first on right here we have the medium um, brown with the ginger highlights that's like a warmer highlight right more of that like you know just uh, uh, not as apparent, not as dimensional. It's a soft highlight, but there's lots of it. Um, and then we have the medium brown base with the uh, golden highlight. So it's medium brown gold, and you see that is like a lot of chunky highlights, more around the face, a little more around the bang. We've thought, that's what I love about hairdo, is they think of everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, how would I actually be highlighting the hair? How does the hair actually grow? How mm -hmm. do I like it cut? Uh, where do I want it to land, to elevate me? That's the thing about this cut that we're looking at right now, the angled shortcut. One of, by far, the most popular haircuts that we have ever brought to QVC. Yeah. And the reason for that is because everybody looks like they got a lift on life in it okay <laughs> it highlights your cheekbones it makes you look sure thinner it pulls up your neckline it just it's elevating that's the beauty of this uh of this haircut and i think i don't even know what the numbers are but by far it's one it's a favorite and it's top selling and all of those things i know that for sure and people often call in and write, reach out and write and say how absolutely happy with they are they are with it. The other thing too is this is like one of those styles that really really last, right? Mm -hmm. So then here's the other thing about hairdo wigs, they really really last even after you wash them. Mm -hmm. And you've washed them multiple times. Uh, they're not going to fall apart and look like uh, who knows what. You take it out of a cold water bath with a cap full of your sh favorite shampoo, you rinse it, you lay it flat to dry, you give okay. it a shake. It has this old you see the style that's already kind of in there. I move my fingers through. It has a